Hi there. It's time for a Monk controller guide for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, a huge ass disclaimer, Monk is super fun for me personally, 1 through 89, but once I hit level 90 and had to do some endgame content, I kinda shelved it. I am someone who likes the min-max and the sheer flexibility in having 4 or 5 different openers didn't really appeal to me at the time. Now, of course, this really doesn't matter if you're not doing Savage, I repeat, if you don't do Savage, Monk is super great. If you want to come badger me about it, then you can catch me on live streams on Tuesdays and Fridays here on YouTube at 2.15 PSD. Okay, now let's get into it. Monk is the only job where I break my rule of single target on the right and AoE on the left trigger. And the biggest reason is twofold. Reason one is we use every single GCD, of course. And two, the GCD speed is very, very fast. I have a 1.96 GCD speed with no biz and or melds, not even 610 gear. It's just a really fast job to play. On the right trigger one letters, I have the first setup of GCD combo, which is boot shine, true strike, snap punch, and perfect balance. Trigger one D-pad is our weavables and buffs, brotherhood, meditation, which is also forbidden chakra, riddle of fire, and riddle of wind. We basically use these four weavables pretty frequently, so I just keep them here. Right trigger two letters is bloodbath, mantra, riddle of earth, and second wind. These are flex spots, you can arrange these any which way, this is just how I have mine. Right trigger 2 d-pad is just a not man, again a flex spot. Left trigger 1 is our second set of single target GCDs which is Dragon Kick, Twin Snakes, and Demolish along with Masterful Blitz which will change into a corresponding ability under certain conditions. Now to understand why I have them set up this way, let's talk about the main rotation of Monk which is to go through these different forms, Raptor, Coral, and Opa Opo. Each of these GCDs represents those forms. Now, these are laid out to match forms no matter on the right trigger or left trigger. So Dragon Kick and Boot Shine are Raptor, Twin Snakes and True Strike is Coral, and Snap Punch and Demolish is Opa Opo. The super basic rotation of Monk works on guidelines and buffs. Icy Vein's website does the best to explain this, so I'm just going to insert that from here. When in Opa Opa form, do you have Lead and Fist active? If yes, use Boot Shine. If no, use Dragon Kick. When in Raptor form, does your Disciplined Fist buff have more than 6 seconds? If yes, use True Strike. If no, use Twin Snakes. When in Coral form, does your Demolish have more than 6 seconds remaining? If yes, use Snap Punch. If no, use Demolish. This honestly was a huge factor in me learning Monk and for it to really just click and make sense. From this, I laid out my cross hotbar in order to be able to get back and forth depending on the buffs that I have. Left trigger 1 d-pad is our AoE rotation which is simpler. I don't really struggle with it since everything is instant cast so you can slide cast your GCDs pretty easily. You may think well I have to AoE and move when I'm in dungeon pools but honestly it's not really difficult. Left trigger 2 is more weavables, thunderclap which is our gap closer, true north, six sided star and formless shift. This is just easier for me to get to and really only use in certain situations or the opener. Left trigger 2 d-pad is our arms length, faint limit break and leg sweep. My important word of caution or wisdom, if you're going to take Monk into Savage content, this may be a good foundational controller guide for you, but you'll probably have to tweak it a lot for it to make sense for Savage. This is more for casual play. Monk takes a lot of time to perfect for the type of person I am personally, so I give gigantic kudos to whoever mains Monk and Savage. You guys are freaking rock stars. I hope this video helps you make sense of the rotation and at least gives you a good base layout to tweak to your heart's content. If you want to watch my other controller guide videos, you can find those in my description box or by clicking here.